Hey guys! Hey guys! Oh, so annoying. Cough at my head, dude. So today I'm going to do the 50 facts tag and I've really wanted to do this for ages. I don't know I haven't got around to doing it to be totally honest with you. Some are a bit embarrassing, some are a bit you know, whatever. I'm very, very obsessive. When I get something in my mind, like I lock into that and I can't kind of get it out of my head. So I become obsessive about a particular thing for a season. I actually played the princess in my school play, which was called The Tinderbox, and I had a solo. And I'm just gonna sing it for you guys now because my vocal capabilities are amazing. What has soldier Tom done? It's a tragedy. Oh, if only you could see. It's a tragedy. <laughs> Thank you, baby. My biggest fan. Your only bloody fan. I love singing and dancing. Like, I can't sing, but I sing. I don't deal with disappointment very well. I'm obsessed with food. I literally plan my days around my meals. I love, love, love Studio Ghibli. And then I don't, I'm probably not saying it right, Ghibli or Ghibli, but I absolutely love it. And Howl's Moving Castle is, I think, one of my favorite films um, slash cartoons of all time. My nickname was The Incredible Hulk. <laughs> because I used to change quite emotionally and go from very happy to quite grumpy. But um, luckily enough, I have worked on that. I'm actually a middle child. I know I kind of portray myself as the oldest child, but I have an older brother and sister who I didn't grow up with. But um, yeah, I'm a middle child. I've been to Italy seven times and it's one of my favorite places to be in the world. Ciao, come stai? Tutto bene. That's all I can actually say. This is a weird one. I'm really scared of doing a roly-poly because I think I'll break my neck. And I used to be able to do them, but I've not been able to do a roly-poly in about 10 years. I love all food except for melon and raw celery. I talk a lot in my sleep. I actually wake people up because of how loud I talk in my sleep. And I might be having a conversation or an argument or, you know, singing and dancing in my sleep. And I've had to be, you know, shaken awake because I'm just going on with myself and quite annoying to my husband. I got married to my college sweetheart she call it that, um, one year and seven months ago. I do not have a driving license. I'm extremely, extremely impatient. And again, I'm working on that. I'm actually allergic to mosquito bites. So if I get bitten by a mosquito, rather than it just itching, my skin swells up, starts to burn and goes really, really hard for about four days. My favorite place to be in the world is actually in my home with my mum, my dad, my sister and my husband. I'm one of those home buddy ladies. I cry probably about twice a week. I have two really, really good friends who I never get to see enough of. Probably see them and speak to them about once every three months, but we've been friends for so long that they're my besties. I am a Christian and I absolutely love Christ and I'm so glad that his grace has saved me. And I am the person who I am today because of him. I was a prefect at school and some people say are prefects only in Harry Potter? No, no, no. I've never ever been cool. I thought I was cool, I've never been cool. And now that I'm older, I kind of embrace the fact that I was just never that girl. I was like a floater and I talked to everyone from the goths to the Sikhs to the rude girls to the grungy to everyone and I used to just kind of potter around making friends in all corners because you know I didn't really fit in anywhere so I once befriended a goat when I was younger and this goat I probably named him Terry I believe and he was a good friend and I used to go and see him in the mornings and play around with him though I was very very scared of him and he then actually got served for as part of Christmas dinner and I cried intensely and I refused to eat Terry because he was my friend. I've been chased by a turkey because I once picked up 
like some baby chicks. Um, this was in Nigeria actually and I was just so excited by the chicks and then the turkey saw me and I kept running and I ran with the chick in my hand and then the turkey was running after me and I was really scared and I didn't want to do and then I ended up flinging the chick on the floor <laughs> and then the turkey stopped chasing me. <laughs> no chicks were harmed at that point in time. I love meat, like I'm a meat addict. I have a really, really loud laugh. <laughs> Sometimes my laugh actually sounds like I'm screaming. Yeah, that's what my laugh sounds like. <laughs> people kind of get scared. Sometimes I speak with my eyebrows. A lot of people say that my eyebrows move a lot and now it's gonna move like crazy. But yeah, I speak with my eyebrows at times. My favorite movie is Romeo and Juliet featuring Leonardo DiCaprio and Leonardo was like my heartthrob like even till now he's my favorite actor one of my biggest dreams is to create a drugs rehabilitation center I don't have anyone who I really know who's like into drugs but I think that's one of the things that has always bothered me and I really felt like there needs to be places where people who have drug addiction can go to and feel love and feel safe and be helped and it's like a big dream of mine even till now that one day I'll have a drugs rehabilitation center. I can be very very messy but I'm very very clean at the same time so I like make things a bomb site as my husband calls it but then I might spend four hours meticulously cleaning. I spend a lot of time shouting. I shout a lot not in like an angry way but I just shout like you know, shout down the stairs, I shout when I'm happy, I shout at the TV, I shout at my sister, I shout at myself. Growing up, my parents always thought I was going to be a lawyer, and so did I. But I think most Nigerian parents say, you'll be a lawyer or you'll be a doctor. It was one or the other. I always, always fall asleep in the car. I don't know what it is about the car. It has me out like a light. I can play the recorder, but can't we all because we all got taught that in school, right? I have a sister called Maureen who's absolutely amazing. She's annoyingly amazing. I love documentation. Excel and PowerPoint are my best like friends. I love, I sit down doing Excel spreadsheets for fun and creating formulas for fun. I actually don't like summer. I actually like autumn and like December time because I like the grey skies and like when it's cloudy it makes you feel really cozy at home and I like wearing scarves and layering and just that feeling like ooh. I also love falling asleep on the train again like I get excited when I finish work because it's like oh need to get my seat can't wait to do that 20 minute sleep I get properly excited about a train sleep it's one of the best sleeps you can ever have because you can wake up and it's like I love hearing people's dreams um, like I used to love it on a Saturday morning my sister's a massive dreamer and she's like I have this dream and I'm like ooh get me a cup of tea get me a cup of tea and I'll sit down and just hear her dream there's something about listening to what someone else has experienced in like their subconscious that I find so exciting I'm one of those people who shake their feet and it's like really relaxing I um, usually hate sleeping on my own like at uni I shared a bed with my friends for for ages and I'm so grateful and like I used to always crawl into bed with my sister oh so this tooth that's a wonky right um I quite like my wonky tooth people are doing something because I have a wonky tooth but actually um my this was tooth was not always wonky um my sister headbutted me on accident once and it dislodged my tooth and that's how I got that. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that video and it gave you a couple of facts and insight into me as a person. And um, I'm not sure if that was completely 50 facts, but it was a lot of different facts there, okay? And so thanks for watching, guys. If you're not subscribed already, make sure you subscribe. I would very much appreciate it. So guys, I'll catch you later. Bye. <laughs>